Well, let's get our engine up and running and then start. For Pete's sake, stop releasing new features! Is Mordred planning on burying unsold games like the E.T. Itachi debacle? I, I don't know what you're talking about. There have been no debacles here. Just 100% success rate, really. Ooh, still licensing it. Nice. Even though it's a little bit old now. But we're working on a new version. Disappointed we're missing out on this RPG trend, but never mind. And Blizzard as well. Okay, maybe there's still hope for Jaunty Hat Guy. Speaking of which, we're going to be designing a new engine very soon, so do let me know what you think we should call it. New names for the next engine. We've had the Wrangle, we've had the Longbeard, we've had the Helfric, and we've had Jaunty Hat Guy. You could feasibly make new games and just make engines. Yes, absolutely. That's basically what I did last time. I thought I'd take a bit more of a risk and actually make some games in, you know, Mad Games Tycoon. Hasn't paid off. I was thinking that we should probably also get A games. That's probably a bit early for a game still. Vikings! Economic strategy about Vikings. Ah, oh, this is one we have to hit. <clears throat> We're going all out on this one. Two million debt. Let's do it. Hey, Johnny Five. Mordinity 3D for the new engine. Mordinity 3D. Okay. Except we don't actually have 3D yet. We have faux 3D. Eight hundred grand in debt again. Ah! And yes, thank you very much for the pits as well. I didn't acknowledge that. I didn't think I acknowledged that. I should have acknowledged that. Am I actually going to have time to make this engine and squeeze out a game in fifty-eight weeks? The problem is these profit sharing things are horrible. It's so unrealistic, like you never want to buy an engine because of that. Considering I still need to make the engine as well, this is going to be cutting it close. Yeah, and we have a lot of stuff to add. Problem is, engines are so expensive. No, I don't think I can afford to risk it. how much it's going to cost. Whoops, got a new one. A hundred and... two hundred and thirty-five thousand. I'm going to call it Mordinity, rather than 3D, because this isn't 3D. We're going to grab all of those bits. We're going to pump this out as quickly as possible so we can actually make the game. Now 
a million in debt. So this is going to have to be the big game. I'd suggest buying a new place. We haven't made enough, that helps, money to buy a new place yet. Repay. Repay lots. Repay lots. See you, James. This is the game that sinks Mordkop. The economic sim about Vikings will not sink us. And we've just made like a million from Jaunty Hat Guy. Jaunty Hat Guy has made me a lot of money. Ah, oh, saved by the engines as always. And yeah, we're about to go in debt again, but I'd rather not pay the interest while I can. There it is. Need to take out another 25. We've gone from a million in debt down to 75,000 in debt. And 48 weeks should be plenty of time to develop the Viking sim. Okay. First of all, though, I need to double check. Engines. Top world is a 23, 45, 40. 23, 45, 40, 22. So we're going to make this a 43... 39. Yeah, that should do. Actually. Let's go 42. Profit shares are so ridiculous. Okay. Um, This is going to be... Oh, I don't have Vikings yet. Crap. Quickly. Shouldn't take long, not with three of us here. Go, 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 go. This is all time I don't have. This is eating into valuable development time. Developer game. So what are we calling this one? What was, what was the Viking economic sim that we did last time? Because it was surprisingly effective. It was like trade, raid, Trade route, trade loot and raid or something. Rivers raid and rivers trade and rivers loot and trade. Rivers raid and trade. That was it. Rivers raid and trade. Uh, adult. Probably. PC, 40% market share, it's insane. Alright, game report. So, Robber Baron Railroads actually did really well. We nailed the story, we nailed core game.
We did not get gameplay though, did we? No. I don't have even close to the money to make an MMO either, Kalinas. Did we get any games out? Uh, good games out. Yeah, we did. We got a 4%er, Marshall. It was great. Um, this is Economic Sim. This is definitely a German game. Alright, so. 10 features. 256 color support, 8 and 16 bit, save game, mouse, branching AI, parallax LAN, sprites, level editor. I think I can probably just save the money. Level, ed level editors are expensive. We could do cutscenes. Let's do cutscenes. We already have sprites. Make an RPG adventure called Mordred Brothers. Just came from the YouTube Battle Brothers series. Oh, nice. Alright, I think this is what we're going to go for. And to maximise time, we're going to get a fourth staff member. Used to be someone who's good at these. Ben Vidmar. And we are going to bring in a new desk. Although actually... be the best person in that room and then we want to have you improving gameplay early on for game balance okay go and once the game balance is done we can do the bug tests or the bug smashing really hope I get this out in time Freaking freaking time bomb. Come on. So I think I can you slightly bigger, can I not? Yes, I can. So we can get another desk in here if we need to. My employees want more cabinets. That's nice. Come on, finish, 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 thank you. 
Remove bugs. Rivers Raid and Trade. Let's do this. We can name people, can we? Oops. Ow. Oh, you can. Alright, when this game is done, we'll name people. Game design. And I don't actually remember what my speciality is. Should probably have a look at that. Uh, staff. Mordred. Economic sim. Adaptive AI. I don't think we're going to get this game out in time. I don't think it's going to happen. guys. You've spent half of your time already. And this is going to be a massive buggy mess when I release it. I'm pulling a Bethesda. Definitely playing rather more fast and loose with the quality and money this time around. I don't know if it's really paid off. So we're building up a company that's late to every trend, like Konami, with zombies and survival. Comes across that way, doesn't it? <laughs> no, don't be wounded, not now. This is a really bad time to be injured. That's not a chance. No way. I can't believe I'm missing the Viking economic sim trend. Like, this is the trend for me. No. Why? Ooh, nice. A known Let's Player showed a beta version of the game. The hype has ridden markedly. I wonder who could that possibly be for an economic trend Viking game? And it's still going to be bloody late. <laughs> Can I just release it now? <laughs> Early access. 91. I was an early starter. Ooh, legendary game developers. Uh, yeah. Dino Tiny is definitely a legendary. Congratulations, you're hired. Now get back to work. No, come on, get back to work. 75% in five weeks. Four weeks. Three. Two. Yeah, no chance. God damn it. Damn it, 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 damn it. One week. We've spent a lot of money on this. Good news, your game can't be the worst. Oh yeah, Kath. Well, not this season, no, that's true.
Alright, let's see how this does. And I definitely, they're an economic sim specialist. Oh, if only I'd got it in the proper time. It's a huge hit. The graphics are okay. Next time I'd like to see better. The sound falls flat. There has been a lot better. The controls are very good. The game controls well. Although the game has gameplay weaknesses, one can live with it. It's a good game with some flaws. Just short of gold, though. And we can do sequels now. I'm like two weeks. Two weeks short. Alright, you guys. Remove bugs. Remove bugs. Uh, update. Here we go. Patch. 100%. Do it. <laughs> you do not have the $250 required for this patch. Oops. Ooh, isometric 2D is at last available. And we're making a profit already. Fantastic. Let's get an update going. So what did they not like very much about it? Did I release this in Chinese? In fact, I should probably do a language patch as well. Um, do, 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 do. How'd that just happen? I know this is making money, but not that much. Or is it? Actually, it is. That's profit. Oh, good grief. Um, what was I looking at? <laughs> Completely lost my focus now. What was I looking at? It was something. Oh, I can't believe I missed the freaking trend. This would have been amazing for that trend. Game report. That was it. My games. Game reviews. Rivers Raid and Trade. Play sound. Sound in particular. Okay. So we're doing a update. Game update. We're gonna do massive sound improvement. Gameplay improvement. Fortunately we can only do one sound. Maybe artwork. Gameplay. You can always do better with gameplay. 27 grand, do it. You already have many loyal fans. We should hire a few people to care for the fans. Support is now available. Recorded dialogues available. <clears throat> Debt free. This game has made us. Just coming through. The game is so good it doesn't need a trend. Imagine if we'd sold it during the freaking trend though. Ah, oh, it would have been good. No more legends Not yet anyway. Fans would have liked more languages, but we're working on it. Don't take it off the market yet. I'll do another update after this too. Your office is a sea of trash. Yeah, I know. I need a new office. We have the money for it now at last. I have a bad feeling this is going to go off market before we finish the language update. Look 
because we're investing a lot in this. Didn't realize how slow this was. Yeah. Let's do another convention. Sure. So you're just doing my job by playing a game that pretends about doing my other job. Yeah, basically. And the great thing is, I've developed this game, I don't know how long you've been watching, Helson. I developed this game, which is a Viking economic sim during a trend for economic Viking sims. Unfortunately, I just missed the trend, and it was hyped up by a well-known YouTuber, which gave us extra hype. There we go, we got it. So I'm going to do one more update to see if we can just add a little bit more impetus. Sound. Gameplay. Levels. Get that out as quickly as possible as well. To squeeze you in anywhere. No. That's fine. You can just keep on researching because you're doing research like stupendously quickly. So hopefully this update gets us a little bit more notice. There we are. Um, then that's probably going to do. Let's get three of you in there, two of you in here so we can do the reports. Did I miss a report? I think I missed a report. I did. Brimstone. Yeah, I probably should do a report on why this was so bad. Have a little bit of an upswing. That's what I was hoping for. See you, last man. We've definitely got enough money in the bank now to um, move. Quick, guys. Crazy thought, but you haven't actually finished yet. Get me another update, quick! We are squeezing this. I am 100% doing a paradox right now. Ah, <clears throat> 1.96 million profit. It did cost me 746,000 to develop, but I'm very pleased to hear that my economic, my Viking economic sim was the best game I've ever done. Yeah, I realize I cancel projects if I move, which is why I'm trying to get these things, like, squeezed out now. Let's get Brimstone done. Now I'm really curious, like, what did I get right? Whoops, not that. With... Rivers Raid and Trade. Story, game depth, and core game are correct. And this was a bad Viking game. We're just really good at economic sims. <coughs> We could do a Viking strategy economic sim. That might work. <laughs> 